Tonight, the Little Rock City Board of Directors set to vote on a no confidence resolution concerning the Little Rock police chief. And we just learned about a new push to table that vote. Fox 16 investigates Susan L. Corey. Following this story, she joins us live to tell us what is going on. Susan. Well, Donna, I just got my hands on this email. It's from the city attorney to the board asking them to hold off on the vote. And it, he says he's concerned that it could set the city up for legal issues and he just needs more time to vet it. Now, this is just the latest development. We've learned that the city has been looking into the chief at least since March. Investigations that have been kept quiet and haven't been used to clear the chief's name or take action. Before walking through these doors at Little Rock Police Headquarters, which I'm Chief Keith Humphrey stood on a stage and swore to protect and serve his city. <laughs> but what's happened during his year and a half serving the blue has some city leaders seeing red. I think he's in over his head. And standing divided on whether the chief should keep his badge. I have come to have full confidence in him. Displeasure and lack of confidence that the chief can continue to lead. Lance Hines is now putting action behind what he first told us in May after our Fox 16 investigate story exposed alleged misconduct by the police chief. We need a change in leadership in the in the Little Rock Police Department. Seven months later, Hines put his take in writing. He's behind this no confidence resolution that's now in front of the city board of directors. You know, it's just time. There's one vote he already can't count on. And I don't have any confidence in it, no pun intended in the resolution. To Ken Richardson, the resolution is out of line. We are not elected to run any departments. We are not elected to do staff management. The mayor's got to pivot and make a decision. Hines says there's plenty of proof something needs to change with Chief Humphrey. There just hasn't been any action. He points to the past year and what our investigations exposed. The chief is accused of sexually harassing female employees. Also, several credit card companies sued him for outstanding debt, racked up before Humphrey was hired, which could have disqualified him for the job. And our investigation uncovered the chief pushed ahead a friend for a department job who lied on the application, all while the chief never mentioned knowing her, even though his car was seen outside her house early in the morning, days after she applied for the job. That's all been expressed to the mayor. Uh, over the last six to nine months, the mayor's decided not to take action, so I felt at time. Hines knows only one person can punish or fire the police chief, and that's Mayor Frank We've Scott Jr. Do you have confidence in the mayor to take action? Yeah, I would hope the mayor would do the right thing, but right up until now with the police chief, he, in my opinion, hasn't done the right thing. He's let a situation go from tenuous to bad to worse. And, and it's not getting better. His concerns have been building for months, and so have the lawsuits against Chief Humphrey. He faces five suits, all filed this year by almost a dozen current and former employees. Their claims range from harassment to retaliation. But the chief says those allegations are part of a conspiracy to get him off the force. And he filed a federal lawsuit claiming his accusers are jeopardizing his civil rights. He could resign tomorrow. I think that would make all these issues go away. Uh, I don't think he is because I think the mayor's told him he supports him. This is the norm when you have department heads change in leadership that you have this criticism. Before the first lawsuit hit, the city looked into claims involving the chief. It's one of at least two internal investigations. The results are sealed because they're personnel files and can only be released if someone is suspended or fired. It also means the board is voting without the full picture. If there was something there, then they should be taking action where the chief's concerned. At City Hall, the mayor and city manager aren't talking. I asked both about the HR investigations and was told because their personnel matters, the city can't comment. Emails we uncovered shed some light. Messages between the mayor's senior advisor, Kendra Pruitt, and city attorney, Tom Carpenter, talk about one investigation. In this email, Carpenter goes into honesty complaints that involve the chief and his assistant chiefs. Carpenter questioned if trust was damaged and followed up with, it seems to me a loss of trust at that level should be a basis for action. The failure to act will get a suit. No matter what the investigations found, Hines says he's seen enough and his mind is made up. We're going to get sued either way, so do you, do you get sued over getting rid of 
uh, an ineffective police chief, or do you continue to get sued for valid, valid claims for retaliation and, and, uh, and, and harassment? But to Richardson, the resolution is proof of an organized attack on the chief. It seemed like it was something that's really intentional, something that's deliberate. So it is safe to say I won't be supporting this. I won't vote for this. Votes can't change anything. They can only show which board members think the chief should lose his badge. A decision that ultimately falls on the mayor. We're now less than a half hour away from that meeting. I'm told the board will discuss the resolution and then decide what to do about the vote. And I do want to stress here that that vote is largely symbolic. Ultimately, it does fall on the mayor to decide if he wants to fire the police chief. Again, we're going to be following this and we'll let you know what the board decides. Live in Little Rock, Susan O'Corey, back to you.